gang, it's Jen here with the Little C's Creations. I wanted to share with you the February Bloom Box that came in from Fun Stamper's Journey. Um, it comes in a box like this. Let me see, where's the box? So it's a subscri subscription type box in the mail. And it comes with four kits, card kits. It's already empty because I already did the cards. But it comes with four card kits that you can create and follow the instructions that come along with it. And the instructions are in this awesome booklet. But this time around, I wanted to do something different. Um, instead of doing the cards here that's shown in the booklet, now it just shows all the different things that you could do with your card and not necessarily have to follow, but the kit specifically is made for the cards that are in here. So here's like one of the cards and then they show what tools and stamp set and cardstock that you need and then it has the instructions on how to create it. Again another card. So there's a card, a page for each card that you're to create. And this time around, what I did was instead of creating the cards that are shown in this booklet, I just opened up the card sets and I went with my own ideas. So putting this here, I'll show you what I came up with. This first card is, let's put these guys on the side. So this first card here, I changed it out it was supposed to be this card so I changed it out for a pink cardstock back background pink cardstock um, I had this extra piece from this card and I used the sticky glitter tape that they also provided for another card colored with Copics and this is how this card turned out Okay, the next card I have is this one and I was using this kit and you can see how I changed it up a little bit. Um, they cut out the flower, stamped and cut out the flower and then adhered it to each hexagon. Um, I wanted to just go with something quick and put it together and spritz it with a little bit of paint and just add that um, hexagon embossing folder a little bit of twine this purple embellishments came with the card kit as you can see it would have been on there but I didn't even look at these before making it so it's pretty neat that for this I decided to add on some spritz and I did that for this card as well okay and then Here's card number three, and this card is supposed to be this card. Now you can see in the booklet that it looks like it was made to be an easel card, just like that. So it's supposed to be folding up. And it's a die cut that um, Fun Stamper's Journey has, and instead of folding it up like a easel card, I just made it the regular flip way, um, and. You can see that I just kind of altered it and made a little changes. So that's pretty much it. it. Looks almost the same. I changed out the background of the card, made it um, use the sea foam card instead of the yellow. And then my last card is my favorite card, which is this one. And it was using this kit. I again changed the pink, the yellow, to a pink cardstock. I used the little heart embellishment that I got from the mini catalog and then I stamped the background with white um, whipped cream and just added a little bit of white pen marks to my flowers colored with Copics again. Used the string and the paper clip that came with it. Added some jewel you can't really see it there you go okay so that's how it turned out 
these cards. Um, I didn't care too much about the yellow, green and the purple together. I really like the pink in there a lot so that's why I went with this way. And I had fun creating it my own style. And I hope I've inspired you as well to create these cards. Now the Bloom Box Kits are available for purchase till the end of February or until supplies last. So if you want these, um, let me know. You can either subscribe for six months or you can purchase for one month. And during the month that it is released is the only time that you can purchase that current bloom box. That's about it. Talk to you later. Bye now.